Hello, my friends. It is Keith, your buddy in England, here at Essex Recording Studios, enjoying a very freezing cold afternoon on a Sunday here in England. And uh, so I'm going to stay inside where it's warm and tell you a little bit about this X series Jackson soloist we just got in. Hell of a guitar for the money, I would say. Um, straight off the bat, one of the things I noticed is the uh, the frets. Fretboard's really nice, and the frets are not sharp and uh, crappy, as you often see on import guitars. This is made in Indonesia, and I would say, I've said it before on another Indonesian guitar we had from Jackson, but these are much, much nicer than the imports of the 90s. Maybe not the highest end uh, Japanese models, but certainly like the Korean Performer series and some of the Japanese models for sure. These are just really, really well made. Um, you've got a Floyd Rose Special, which is the import Floyd Rose, and I do like these a lot better than the licensed models that you saw previously from Jackson. Very good quality. Duncan Design Humbuckers, coming from Seymour Duncan. I'm not a huge humbucker expert. I don't know the difference between the normal Seymour Duncan badged ones and the Duncan designed. It might be different factories. Ones, you know, th these are the import Duncans, I would imagine. But uh, it's not a complicated piece of hardware, so I can't imagine there's much different going on. You've got these acrylic shark fin inlays and a nice rosewood fretboard and then a Jackson headstock with the 80s logo, which I love. Very cool. Neck through guitar. The uh, pots feel really nice. They don't feel cheap and chintzy. They, they glide very nice. They've got a good amount of weight behind them. Everything feels sturdy and, and well built on this guitar. Hasn't been played much, it seems. It's got, I mean, it's got the plastic still on the back covers, on the truss rod cover. It still has the plastic on the tuner seals. And I think someone mentioned, I brought it up before, that I think these Jackson tuners are the same tuners on all of the, the guitars. Like I've got USA Custom Shop guitars with these black Jackson tuners. And, um,. I don't notice any difference between any of them. So if you do know, let me know. But we did have someone else comment and say that, I think he said they were Korean made, those tuners. And they are used across the spectrum. And it wouldn't be a Jackson without a little chip on the headstock there, which is unfortunate. But if you've seen my other videos, I had a brand new custom shop, Jackson, uh, Randy Rhodes, that had chips on every corner in the guitar store. I bought it at Forest Sound in, in uh, Copenhagen in Denmark, and someone came in, uh, played it, dropped it on the ground, and uh, chipped all the corners, and it's just, you know, goes with the territory with these pointy guitars. But we love them, so we deal with it. Yeah, like I said, the fit and finish, it doesn't feel, um, there's nothing that feels rough or really any different. Like, if you told me this was a Japanese model, um, certainly from the back, there, there's nothing you can really tell. You know, the, the binding looks, looks pretty good, but the binding, I guess, looks like paint versus the kind of ivory or imitation ivory binding you would get on the more expensive model. So I guess that's a difference you can note. Um, what else on these? I was really surprised with the frets. Like that, It's pretty smooth on the sides here. They're not sharp at all. Um, I guess when you think about it, I mean, a guitar is not, again, a complicated piece of machinery. It's a... Uh, the block of wood, you know, they've been built for 
over a hundred years now, so it doesn't really matter what corner of the world you are assembling these blocks of wood. There shouldn't be that much variation once uh, you have someone that's properly trained. Um, if I had to pick anything that might stand out, like there's a few things that let you know it's not a, a USA soloist. And I don't mean just like with the hardware, but on the finish. So like if you go in, you know, like, I don't know if we can focus in there or not, but like where the pickup selector is, looks, yeah, you can see it a little bit there. Like there's a little bit of uh, over on, sorry, this is so dusty. Like in there, there's a little bit of drippage in the paint and you might see a little bit behind the pickup ring like in there, not big deals. And honestly, it's stuff you could see, you really could find on a higher end model. You can see the paint like around the tremolo cavity there. Little little things like that. Um, and then the paint leading up to the binding at the bottom, that's just dust by the way. But you can see it's a little bit thick and maybe a little bit uneven like right there. But that's, the, visually, that is what is different from the X series and the Pro. The Pro series is exactly the same, by the way. The, all the guitars coming out of Indonesia are, are just like that. You know, and that, those are the little visual kind of imperfections that you might get. But of course, you are paying a fraction of the price of an American model. And um, as far as feel and play... You know, it's it's they're built to the same dimensions, so there's not a whole lot that feels different. The neck will, the neck might feel a little thicker on this. The paint and the and the clear might be a little bit thicker. Um, you know, and your hardware will obviously be different here. But your you know your knobs are the same, your pickup selector, your your tuners are the same. Um, yeah, so so there isn't a whole lot that that feels different. And then your sound, of course, that's all. That all comes down to your your pickups. Um, having the nicer bridge might give you a little more uh, sustain and fine tuning and whatnot. But at the end of the day, I don't know. You guys should comment. What what have you noticed different using a the Floyd Rose uh, Special or the Floyd Rose One Thousand versus the Floyd Rose Original or Floyd Rose Professional? Do you notice huge astronomical? differences I don't know what I will say is it's a really good looking guitar and for the money you, you can't go wrong and it does have uh, really good resonance which I noticed on the pro model roads that we have so I just got this from a guy in London and it came with this case and we're going to sell this cheap on our reverb store. Get this lighting a little bit better. But yeah, it's got like a new Gator case. There's, uh, I, think, I think we've got some keys in the storage department here. Somewhere in there. Yep, keys and a gold tremolo bar, which I'm not sure if it's original or not. Because like I said, this is my first one. I would imagine it's not. You'd think it would come with a black bar, but the gold looks good with the yellow which is why I imagine it has it. And I've always liked the black on gold hardware combination that Custom Shop Rhodes I was talking about from Denmark had that and looked sick, just looked awesome. We also had a uh, seven string Gibson Flying V with EMGs and that had black and gold hardware and looked beautiful. So yeah, guys, that's the X series soloist. Really, um, I think, in my opinion, it is identical to the Pro Series, other than you've got different pickups and I think a different bridge. I think you might have the Floyd Rose 1000 in the Pro. Might still be the Special. I'll have to go back and check my video. But other, other than that, yeah, pickups. That's, that's the difference. If you were going to change your pickups anyway, you might as well just get the X Series. If you're going to throw some bare knuckles in or something that doesn't come stock from Jackson. 
But that's it, guys. I hope this has been enlightening. I hope it has given you a good idea of what this series looks like up close and in person. And if you've been bored on a Sunday, well, thanks for hanging out. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, guys. It's really important. We're racing to get to 1,000 subscribers. Got 186 this morning when I checked. And uh, they'll start paying me when I get to 1,000. I actually have a car channel a lot of you guys might not know about. I have a car channel. That's got almost 4,000 subscribers. You'll have to do some digging. See if you can find that one. I'll give you a hint. There are a lot of Bentley Arnage videos. If you search for Bentley Arnage, you will probably see my videos come up first in my other channel. If you find it, shoot us a comment and let me know. And then other than that, Essex Recording Studios, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram. Instagram's doing real well for us. We're getting a lot of fans from all over the world uh, sending us messages, some sending us gear and stuff. It's really cool, guys. Uh, and I've got a lot of time this afternoon, so I'm going to do more videos. Coming up next is a vintage relic KH2 Kirk Hammett from ESP. See you guys.